Good afternoon, and welcome back to part two of day nine, um, and of course, New Horizons here on Fawn Hollow. I'm Dear Danny, and let's get straight into it. So it turns out I was an idiot. I, I looked up. Um, apparently, the last episode I recorded where I actually caught the string fish, that was at uh, 9 p.m. So I have to need to do this stuff already. <laughs> For some reason, I thought I did it at 7 p.m. and then I played again at 9 p.m. But maybe I didn't. <laughs> but maybe it was I played later. Or you know, you know what? I'm not. I'm not going to try and overthink it. So I want to sell the fish I've been holding and this weed, I suppose. Don't want these casual pants. We can sell that as well. Sold. We'll see if you got any new flowers in. If not, I think I have to actually go to like Benny or Ali's place to try and get these flowers I still need. Yeah, because we got all of those. I don't think we need any of those. Do I want any of these? Not particularly. Unless we have a Nook Miles to buy stuff. No, just for selling things. That sturgeon. That's not gonna happen, but <laughs> Okay, so let's go about our daily chores, like watering plants. Uh actually no. Let we uh well, I might as well water a cosmos because I'm right here. But we need to build a camp and I've been thinking that I'm gonna put it on the mini the fruit island because I think that sounds quite nice. It's a little bit inconvenient right now, because I need a bridge, and that'll be it's not going to be the first place I'm going to build a bridge. I think the first place I'm going to build a bridge is over to where Puddles is. Because it's super inconvenient where she is. And I'd like to have that sort of like V section. So I'm going to have like two um, bridges just behind my house. And then also... what else? The next bridge, I'm not sure why I'm going to build the next bridge, but I think I should do it up in the cliffside where Sylvana is. But also probably should build a ramp up to where Sylvana is. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put that yet. Oh, I just noticed we've got a, a pink hybrid here. How do we get a pink hybrid here? It's so out of the way. And we have another pink hybrid here as well. I mean, this pink hybrid makes sense. It's next to a red and white and a pink, so it could be from any combination of these, but I don't know where that pink cosmos come from. Since we have enough pink cosmos already, I think I'm just going to plant these outside of Puddle's place. I'm going to bury that hole instead of running into it. And we see our fruit trees have grown. So if we move that apple tree to that left side and then we cut down that tree, we can put the camp right in the middle and we put a cherry tree apple right there. That's my vision. And then it'd be nice to have like a, a bridge here, or maybe a bridge here, one of the sides. Doesn't really matter, to be honest. So what's that doing? Oh yeah, we're watching some more pansies. That's not a watering can. That's the wrong way. So as it turns out, there are about eight different flowers. I'm not sure how I'm going to get all these different flowers. I assume there'd just be like three in each town. And in my town it was Pansy's Cosmos and Windflowers. Or some Windflowers. <laughs> not all of the Windflowers, unfortunately. Benny's town I know for sure has Windflowers and I got Tulips. Oh, maybe I have Tulips in my town, not Windflowers. That probably explains why I've not seen any in the world, but they sell Tulips. And Nook's Cranny. I managed to water these. Looks like it. Oh. Got another set of windflowers here. So yeah, I think in my own time I'm going to try and look up to see what combinations of flowers make what. And then I'll rearrange these colours so it's a bit one a bit more aesthetically pleasing and two would actually be a bit more efficient so i'm not just creating non-hybrids i looked out for cosmos and apparently there's like red and red red and yellow or red and white are the other combinations which is interesting i 
tell me if I want to do so. Okay. Ah, I should have got some softwood. Okay, doesn't matter. I'm gonna go plant bees outside your house now, Paddles. Hello. What? Why did it go there? Oh, I guess you can't put it there. Okay, so I guess it'll have to be to the slide, 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 slightly. It looks a bit uneven, but what can you do? The house is uneven. So let's get some well, firstly let's build the chair so we can sell it. for that. And then we'll craft this chair. Then let us grab some hardwood from our storage and we'll make this campsite. And then we'll... Have I taken my axe out from my storage? I'm not entirely sure. I haven't. Ah, uh, that's how my inventory got weirdly messed up. I was really confused why I felt like I had a missing gap here. That's why I got my axe in storage. So, let's bring it out. Bring out this hardwood as well. Do we need anything else? Don't think so. That bake could come later. So, let's make this campsite. There we go. Then what we're going to do is well, we're going to chop this tree down. This can be like a nice stool. Um. So I want to replace this one with an apple tree and I want to put a log stool here. So I think what we should do is we need to eat two. We need to at least eat one so we can dig up that tree. No, eat two because we need to dig up both trees. how big this campsite is. Ah, I need to rethink. I want to move it over slightly. Let's see what that looks like. That looks pretty good to me, though. Yeah, okay. Let's build it there. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Pick the campsite. And then... Let's plant this non-apple tree here. And then chop it down. So it's got some nice stools out front. And let's put the apple tree here. There we go. Uh, what do we move? Is there two tulips here? There's two tulips here. We'll move this tulip to the other side so it's a bit more symmetrical. The orange tree is in fact in the way, so I'm gonna eat an apple and move the orange tree slightly. Didn't mean to drop it. Oh, excuse me. Didn't mean to drop it. But the orange tree could afford to move over a little bit, to be honest, so. I think this is where the tulip wants to go, yep. Yeah. 
orange tree put it here or we could let's see it's not much room over here and that's where the cherry tree has to go anyway so i think i'll put the orange tree just a bit over here not back next to the edge apparently that's the only option no a bit over yeah that seems good to me And then the cherry tree can go here or something and then we can have a behind bridge going off this way and it'll be perfectly lovely. But for now, let us water these tulips over here. Where are they? Any new colours? Not today. Tulip colors. You can definitely get orange. You can definitely get pink. I think you can get blue and purple as well. No, it's black tulips, aren't there? But that's like two blues together. Oh, I also looked up the the peacock butterfly I was talking about, where it only grew on wild wildflowers. It only grows on blue, not grows. It only visits blue, purple, and black flowers. So that's why I haven't seen any. Just in case you were curious, because I was curious. Um, so our watering can broke, which is quite sad. Let's build another one. I should really move this around because that's super in the way. Let's craft a watering can. Apparently I cannot, because I do not have enough softwood. But let's just take the time to harvest some. Wood. What am I doing? No software there. That's all normal wood. <laughs> What, so what fish and bugs do we still need to catch? I believe the only fish I've left are both the cedar camp, which I can't catch because it's not raining or snowing, and the, the rain, not the rainbow trout, the golden trout, which will be on a mission to catch on soon, to be honest, because it's actually nearly done with our chores and nearly 4pm has rolled about. And I believe we've still got those goldfish as well to catch. Is that five? That's six, in fact, I can't count. And once we've done with that, we'll see what we need to do still. Maybe we might harvest more rocks. Maybe I'll do that off camera though, because it's not particularly interesting, I suppose. To try and get some more. Well, to try and get any gold ore. I haven't seen any of it, you know. Um, we can. Oh, let's go on a Nook Miles journey. Why not? We got a Nook Miles ticket. Uh, I will quickly just sell off this hot item, though. For five times Nick Miles points. Wow. Earning like crazy. I just noticed it's selling urinal. <laughs> I don't know, I didn't notice that before. Uh, service board and block chair. Sold. Let's cash in on our Nick Miles. Spend bells to buy items. I'm just probably not I'm gonna a lot I'm gonna buy here, so I'm off. And let's go on to a trip for quickly and then with the time we got left we'll take the time to try and catch the golden trout. It's gonna be difficult, but it's doable. Pretty sure at least. While we're flying over there, I'll take the time to just double check. New Horizons. 
Fish. I wanna fly. Roger. So let's use a nook mask. Okay. Roger. Time for takeoff. Let's get you airborne. Okay, so golden trout. Caught a koi. Popeye goldfish, ranchu goldfish. And then I'm looking down the list. And then it's just Cedar Camp. So yeah, it's just these things. And they stop spawning at 4 pm, I believe. So yeah, when we're done here, we'll go. Oh, pears! Oh, and a fossil. <laughs> Only Cosmos here, though. Apparently, I can only get pears, isn't it? Extra fruit on these islands. But let's just harvest this island for all its resources. I'm sure, there's a lot of pears, to be honest. Maybe I should plant some of them again, but I... I mean, I already got some pears in my town. I've, I've, I've planted for like three more, was it the day before yesterday or yesterday? I, I forget exactly. Sell some coconuts as well. so many on that island. I wonder how much money we'll make from all this. Maybe I should have been counting. Do you think I could be a sturgeon? But it's a river mouth, isn't it? I don't know. Let's try it. I'm not sure if it's quite big enough though. No, just a bass. A black bass. Maybe that, that's a golden trout right there in that little river pool. Who knows? Let's see. It's very windy up here, though. Nope, just a bit something. <laughs> oh, there's so many. Oh, there's still so many. Scoot around that tree. So how much is that? Whoa, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 62, 62, 31. That's 31,000. That's not bad. Oh, there's even more down here that I missed. 32,500 bells. That's alright. Why are there so many fish right there? Well, I can only choose one of you. I don't know who's going to get this, so... A measly loach. Okay, why don't I sleep this island? There's not much ready here for us. I suppose we can harvest the rocks. Yeah, why not? It's a limited resource. 
And it was... I should also harvest the rest of the rocks in my town. In Fawn Hollow, because I still haven't got iron ore. Not iron ore, gold ore. Seems almost like an impossibility to get to at this point. I can't wait till like we can start building more housing for residents because I want to get some obviously some other residents in here. I want my snooty and cranky villages in here. Snooty is my favourite villager type. Not sure why though. Maybe I like the attitude. It's an interesting juxtaposition. In a very wholesome Animal Crossing game. What? You know what, whatever. I can't be bored. It's too much effort. Let's fly home more Wilbur you get. Ready to go home. Yup, let's go. So we've only got three more fish to catch. Let's take a quick look at the bugs still to catch. I think it's just a peacock, butterfly. Oh, and the spider as well, right? Yeah, peacock, butterfly. And rotten food. I don't have any rotten food, so that's quite difficult. Um, let's go to the store and sell all these things. Oh, snail, but it hasn't been raining yet, so that's also impossible. Rotten food? Rotten turnips, I guess? So I can do that in a week's time. <laughs> Might be easier to do with candy, though, isn't it? Two thousand bells. Nice. Yeah, spiders. I, I have actually been shaking trees, so when I've been playing a little bit to try and find a spider, I haven't seen one yet. So I think they're a lot rarer than I expected. Um, so let's put some of this stuff away, and we'll go um, golden trap hunting. In these final few minutes, and we'll carry it on to, to goldfish hunting into the next part unless we catch it really quickly in which case we won't so let's put that in storage we don't need that we don't need hardwood we don't need clay don't need stones we might need wood i can't remember i will just drop on the floor put that in storage and access our storage let's get out 20 one bait 31 bait and let's get going let's craft another fishing rod as well because this one must be near the end of its life let me just check the golden trout's at high elevation clifftop rivers and ponds at night pardon Oh, 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. Okay, so let Okay, so we're only... That, that, that could have been a huge mistake. Let's only uh, do the goldfish, I suppose. Once it rolls over to 4 p.m., we'll try getting a golden trout. But, oh, wow. That's going to be even harder than finding a, a string fish. If we can... If it. I thought the reason we haven't found a golden trout yet was because I was fishing at the wrong time. But, no, it's actually just extremely difficult. Either way, finding these goldfish should be potentially a lot easier, so. Size 1 and size 2. This is a regular old goldfish. That's not what I meant to do. Scatter food. That's probably a carp. I was really that big, so. Carpe diem. Another carp, I see.
Now, I theoretically could just scatter food on top of this fish because I know it's the wrong size, but I don't know, part of me doesn't want to do that. Good practice, maybe, just trying to fish them up. I know what these fish and quests mean. I can have I go chatter again. But I'm not really sure what to talk about this time, to be honest. I need to get started on the trail of conversation when it just keeps going, you know. It's hard to stop someone talking about something that they want to talk about, right? But what do I want to talk about? That's a big question. That's a big question mark. Just done 3 p.m. though. And you can hear our little uh, town tune rolling off. I'm not actually sure. <laughs> it sounds a little bit too silly for me, so maybe I'll change it. But I'm going to have to think about what, what it should be. Mess around with it a bit. I do have musical knowledge, believe it or not. I've I've played a lot of piano and violin when I was younger. Not so much now. I should get back into it. I do have a piano keyboard just sitting in like a meter to my left. I'm often a bit too lazy to play. Ugh, oh, come on, fish. Look at me. No, look at me. Look at me and only me. This is the right size to be one of the goldfish. Oh, there we go, Popeye goldfish. Yes, I caught a Popeye goldfish. It looks so surprised. Okay, so now we just need to catch a, what do you call it, Ranchu goldfish. Size two. It's another carp. Another carp. We're just fishing all the carps out of the pond. Who knows how there's so many in this tiny pond, but still. I don't know if it'll see that unless it turns around. Well, it turned around, but the wrong way. <laughs> oh, come on, you can see that fish. Yeah. That's the stuff. It's a brand new day, got a carpe diem. It's a random feeling some verb song. Why? I don't know. It was just on my mind, apparently. <laughs> that show's ended now, hasn't it? It's probably ended ages ago. It seems I watched it when I was in primary school. I can't imagine it's been The Simpsons and gone on for about 15 years or something. But I must say, the legacy of that show is most certainly the songs for me. How many catchy songs that I used to, but I still randomly remember lyrics to. But to be fair, that's not too surprising because apparently I'm very good at remembering lyrics to random songs. It is what I'm known for, for randomly bursting out into song. Mind you, I'm not very good at singing, so much to the chagrin of my friends, that happens. But to be honest, though. I've always been somewhat interested in learning how to sing. But there's never something I've already done. Maybe that can be some future goal in mind, I don't know. It's just spitballing, just random ra random ruminations. In the mind of a deer. What I say will just come and pass just as easy as... I, d I don't know. I didn't really have a metaphor lined up there, to be honest. Or the rest of a conversation, to be honest. <laughs> Just keep going. It's nearing on 30 minutes, but we've still got a lot of bait left. I mean, we can try and start thinking about what else I want to do with the rest of this day. I want to try and get a bridge built. That's true. Because seeing as you can only build one thing each day. As a, a significant limit, a time limit. I guess I could look up what rotten food there is in Animal Crossing to try and actually get an ant. I think the only thing must be turnips. I can't think of anything else apart from. I know that in uh, maybe the festival season is different in this version, but in previous versions were pave. 
there's a festivities event where you can trade candy. Oh, also in Halloween as well. I forgot about that. And the candy would attract ants as well. It's a bit sad I cannot get turnips for this week because of the fact that I just built Nook's Cranny one day late. Just because of my lack of iron ore. And I could have done it if I just harvested Nook Island stuff, but I didn't play that night, so I didn't in the end. Well, more spaces in our inventory. Also, yeah, the music definitely has changed. Very soon. Was that not like hourly music? For a while. Did that only unlock with the resident services? Or have I really been that observant? It really is one of the key points of Animal Crossing, I think. Well, it's not actually a key point, but I think it's a one of my favourite parts is the seasonal music, not seasonal, um, temp temporal music. That doesn't really make sense to me. But it, it's nice to give, like, each hour a different feel, right? It's your regular old goldfish here. Especially because there's nice variations. Well, at least in New Leaf, there were variations for when it was raining or snowing. That gave it a different feel and ambiance. Regular old goldfish. What am I going to do with all these carps? Probably shouldn't even bother fishing them, to be honest. They're not very not really worth the money all the time yeah maybe I'll, maybe I'll just grind out for goldfish come on you can see that fish it's right there just spin around not that way I was going to say, that's right in front of you. I feel like fish have much narrower view cones. And oh, there we go. A ranchy goldfish. But I prefer balsamico goldfish. Terrible joke. Okay, so we'll donate these Otter Museum. And then the only thing to do is get a golden drought. And then I'll, I just have to wait for it to rain before I can get any more fish and bugs. Oh, apart from the spider, but that's at 7pm. So I suppose the golden trout will get at 4pm. Maybe I'll get out some more bait or something. I don't really know. Sorry, Blavis. Wakey, wakey. Let me donate this pop-eyed goldfish. Pop-eyed goldfish have, as the name suggests, huge round eyes, but as babies they look like other goldfish. As they grow, their eyes begin to pop out and they gain their who distinct appearance. Imagine a poor fish fancier who unknowingly bought one. Their eyes might well pop out just as far. Oh, lavas. You and your odd humour. Yes, please do tell me. The Ranchu goldfish is a charming relative of a goldfish with a bumpy head and stout round body. They have ordinary heads when born, but develop impressive rectangular heads after about three years. Supposedly, their head shape changes depending on factors like the size of their tank. So Ranchu goldfish enthusiasts aim to raise perfectly shaped specimens and work hard to achieve this. Of course, no one asks for Ranchu goldfish themselves what shape they want their heads to be. I wonder what they'd say if they could reply. Alas, we cannot talk to them, so what can we do? Well, I think that's basically going to round off this episode of, or this part of Animal Crossing New Horizons and Video Journal. Maybe I'll do a little bit off screen of selling some fish, getting some bait, but tune in next time where we'll try for this golden trout. And it's going to take a while, I think. So, see you then.